Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download, install, and build Quake 3. If you do not know what Quake 3 is, here's a screenshot, and the Wikipedia definition is Quake 3 Arena, also known as Quake 3, is a multiplayer first person shooter video game. So, about 10 years ago, it was the Call of Duty of its time. Played on PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and it's just part of the popular Quake franchise. Really good game, you can install it on Windows and lots of other distributions but we're going to install it on the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi has been advertised to be able to play Quake 3 from a very early stage. It's a really good demonstration of the Pi's GPU and CPU capabilities. Sadly though, it's not very simple to download at all. It's not the case of just doing sudo app get install. It's, it's quite complex. And as a result of this, I've written up all the code and instructions in a Raspberry Pi forum post for you to use. Now stuff you're going to need, you're going to need an internet connected Raspberry Pi, you don't have to have one, you can do, do this on a Windows computer, save it to a thumb drive, put it in your Raspberry Pi, however it's just a lot easier if you use an internet connected Pi. You're going to use, have to use a valid operating system, I'm using Raspbian, I haven't tried it on any others, it probably works with the older Debian distributions, though really you should be using Raspbian if you're a beginner, just because it's the recommended distribution and it's really simple, good and easy to use. And now, most importantly, I realise that sometimes download links don't go to plan. If any of the ones in my video don't work, please let me know by email at the Pi guy at gmail.com or just comment below, and I'll try to host my own downloads. Please subscribe and watch my other videos. Now, I've just got two thanks to do. Now, the first goes to Pi Cymru, who I'll link his website down, down in the description below. This is where most of this tutorial comes from and uh, however most of his download links don't work so I've had to combine his tutorial with Mitch text Mitch text tutorial where some of his commands don't work as well so I've just combined them so they both work okay now let's get on to downloading it first though I've, I did make this tutorial before using videoing my Raspberry Pi's display with my video camera and as you probably know you've seen some of my other tutorials the it's absolutely atrocious the display quality it's really hard to read and I'm really sorry about that so I'm gonna I've made it via a Windows PC this time using what's known as putty and SSH now SSH just means that I can remotely connect to my Raspberry Pi and view the terminal and I'll probably make a tutorial in future about how to do that okay on to downloading it so here is my Raspberry Pi. Now this is just me with the default user. I've, I've gone down a bit just so there's nothing else on the screen. As you can see, my block is down here. And the first command that we're going to need to do is sudo. If you know what sudo means. If you don't, then watch my some of my other videos where I explain some basic command. sudo install git gcc build essential libs the ll dot two hyphen dev press enter and that's just going to install git clone now git clone will just let us download the quake 3 source code and I'm not sure how long that took for me a couple of minutes and the next thing I'm going to download is git is the actual Quake 3 source code so type in git clone https slash slash github not github github dot com forward slash bars pi forward slash quake 3 dot git and, that's, and press enter and now some of you might be wondering what is github now, github is just a, a way of getting open source and and it's just a place where you you post code post download links etc 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 you don't know what it is then google if you want a bit more if you want a better description anyway now once that's finished you're going to have to change into the directory where it's been saved, so if you use the command cd, quake 3, don't know what cd does, watch some of my other tutorials and I'll explain it. And there we go, we change into the quake 3 directory. 
Now what we're going to need to do is edit the script that automates the compiling process using Nano. And Nano is a command line text editor. Really useful little thing. Here we go. Nano build dot sh. Probably going to leave something like this. Now you're going to need to change a few lines. First line is line h. You're going to have to start. You're going to have to change the one that starts with arm libs, and you're going to have to change it to so it says. You're going to have to change it so it says opt vc lib. Just how I've written it. Next one you're going to need to change is line 16. That starts includes, and you're going to have to change it so it says i opt vc include i opt vc include interface vsos p threads. Make sure that says that. And then the next one you're going to change is line 19, and this one is just says cross compile. And all we're going to do is add a hash in front of it. So once that's done, exit with Control X, and when it prompts you, or if you want to save it, press Y and then press Enter. Now we need to begin the compiling process, and this is what takes ages. It's going to take you about half an hour to an hour, depending on your Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do is dot forward slash build. Dot sh. Loads of lines will will go past your screen as it compiles it, and I've already done it, so I don't need to do it. Now, if you're done, welcome back. Now we're going to change the directory, so change the right directory, so we can save the pack files that Quake 3 uses for game content. So there's eight of these that you're going to need. No, sorry, not eight, nine of these actually that you're going to need to install, and I'll just show the link here. So first what we're going to do is cd build, then we're going to change our directory again to release linux um, I know I could condense these all into one line but I want you to understand how directories work. So next we're going to change it to a cd base q3. So there we are now this is where Mitch text download links come in handy. What we're going to type is wget https colon forward slash forward slash dl dot drop box dot com forward slash u forward slash one eight one six five five seven slash q3 and then percent sign 20 demo percent sign 20 packs dot zip now that is quite a lot of text there but don't worry about it. So, once that's finished, you've downloaded your pack files, but in a zipped format. So, what we're going to need to do is unzip them. So, the next command is going to be unzip q3 backwards slash dem demo with a capital D backwards slash again. Zip. Press enter that will unzip them. And then once you've finished, all you're gonna have to do is move them. If if they've been saved into the base Q3 folder, then that's great. Otherwise you're gonna have to move them. I'm not gonna cover that in this tutorial. So that means that you've got your pack files saved correctly. Now basically once your pack files have been have been saved, then that's great. If I just do ls, I, you can see all my pack files here. That's what lets the game run. Now, sadly, you're not going to get a little icon which you can click on to run Quake 3. You're going to have to type in the command manually. So if you want to play Quake 3 at any time, you're going to need to change into the release Linux ARM directory. So we're just going to change one down by doing cd dot dot like that. And then you're going to need to type in this command, sudo dot forward slash io quake 
jQuery dot com and then press enter and as you can see you'll see quite a few lines of text on here now it's not going to show up because I'm doing this via a remote desktop but if you're doing it on your Raspberry Pi you'll see quite a lot of activity as a new unnamed window will open up and you'll see Quake 3 it asks you for a CD product code click next and you can play the demo and the demo you get quite a few sort of skirmish levels I'm just going to show you a quick video of Quake 3 so here's me playing Quake 3 just while it's loading now I'm not very good at this game I'm going to admit and all if you see any bad quality graphics that's just because of this screen so as you can see it's sort of a first person fragging game oh look I've died already not very good Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please watch my other tutorials. And um, comment, like, subscribe. And if you've got any problems or if you, if you want me to do anything, then please do not hesitate to email me at the raspberrypi guy at gmail.com. And um, if you want to, I'm really interested to know of any of the Raspberry Pi projects. So again, email me. And I'll be sure to look at them. And I might even mention them in my, some of my videos. As I said, if you want me to do anything, please email me. I'm always open for new ideas. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And as I said, subscribe and tell your friends about them. Thanks for watching. Bye.